Hello and welcome to take 153 of my attempt at a scale drawing video. Bear with me, maybe this will be the one that works. Now I've taken some notes of the dimensions of a basketball key. It was impossible to find everything in one diagram on the internet. I've cobbled together something and just done a hand sketch. and I'll import that into Inkscape now to uh, go by that. So file, import, I'll find the uh, photo I took of my sketch open that up, just go OK and it comes in massively big mouse wheel and control to a zoom and control shift to drag it down to about half a page or drag it into position and control and mouse wheel back up again and there's my rough sketch, <coughs> excuse me OK, now the first thing I'll do is draw a rectangle of 3.6 high and 5.79 metres wide half of the rectangle tool or this icon over here and we'll drag it to that. Select tool. Now you can see that the uh, height is 41.879 millimeters. I want 3.6 meters so maybe I'll just multiply the meter, meterage by 10 make that 36. Enter. Uh, I've got constrained proportion on here. I'll take that off because I want the width not to affect the height and I want the width there to be 5.79 so I make that 57.9 and enter and there you have it you can compare the width and height there the millimeter readings are 10 times what the meter readings are and that seems to work well okay for the circular bit 3.6 meter diameter circle E for circles and ellipses control shift drag one out select tool I will constrain the proportions now and make the width 36 millimeters. Enter. And with that selected, if I type E again, I can hover over this little circle until it turns red and control drag it that way. Control drag. If I go in here, it uh, doesn't have the line. If I go out, it puts in a line. I think I go in, I don't need the line. And click and I'll hopefully be able to snap that on to there and there it goes so we're getting there now I need to do the 1.8 meter baseboard which is 1.2 meters from the end of the court so B for Bezier pen tool or this icon here click it snap into paths which is this icon here if you need to turn that on click control drag to constrain to vertical or horizontal and enter and select tool and again 1.8 just checking that so the height would be 18 and with that selected shift click the rectangle we want to align those on horizontal axis align and distribute or control shift A and there's the icon there now it's aligned I can click on that and select the baseboard only if it was underneath you might have to alt click and cycle through but uh, I've got it because uh, it's on top now under the transform menu Control shift M but I've got had it open so I'll just find it there I want to transform it 12 millimeters to the right apply that and there's our baseboard in position next the basketball ring itself to finish off E for the ellipsis tool control shift drag a, a circle well it's not completing the circle because that's the last mode I was in but I'll convert it to a full circle there select tool and 46 millimeters or 0.46 of a meter so 4.6 when I multiply it by 10 and there's the ring I'll drag it and hope it will snap to the middle there it is if yours doesn't try getting these snap tools working and now I want to transform that I think it's 1.575 from the back, back of the board so 1.575 would be 15.75 when I multiply it by 10 or you could type in 1.575 asterisk 10 and do the multiplication up there if you wanted to apply and there's the basketball ring in position so I think the, that's it for the uh, scale drawing of the basketball key if you wanted to you could drag a marquee around the lot control G to group and there you have it uh, a scale drawing of the basketball key don't hold me to the exact measurements they might vary depending on the uh, association that uh, is, is uh, in charge of the the uh, court uh, dimensions anyway hope that's of some use to you and thanks for watching